Hey, what's going on? Pete Francis for Blues Rock Review with album releases for January 2018. Now, last month was pretty slow. There wasn't a whole lot going on with the holidays, but things are picking back up this month. We've got a lot of strong releases, and we'll kick things off with the new album from Beth Hart and Joe Bonamassa, Black Coffee. Now, this is their first album together since 2013's Seesaw which was nominated for a Grammy. And once again, this is a collection of soul covers. There's 10 tracks on this album, all produced by Kevin Shirley. And if you like those previous albums, you're probably going to like this one because this album is definitely similar to those other albums. And they've already released the single for this, Black Coffee. You can check that out on YouTube. And if you want to pick up this album, it comes out January 26th. Eric Steckel has a new album out this month called Polyphonic Prayer, and this is his first album since Black Gold, which was a top 20 album on Blues Rock Review. And he's had a couple of those top 20 albums on Blues Rock Review. And Eric Steckel is one of the best blues rock guitarists out there. But what you might not know about Eric Steckel is he actually plays a lot of other instruments. In fact, on this album, he plays every instrument except the drums, and he's a very talented keyboard player as well, which you see all over this album. And this album really brings Eric Steckel back to the blues. I think it's an album that a lot of people have wanted to see from him, and it's definitely one of his best. So if you want to check out Polyphonic Prayer, it's out January 12th. Tommy Emanuel has a new release this month, Accomplice One, which is coming out on the Mascot label group. And Tommy Emanuel is one of the best guitar players in the world Period. In fact, a couple months ago, we did a video, Top 5 Guitar Players in the World, and Tommy Emanuel was featured in that video. And Accomplice One features a great lineup of guests. You've got Jason Isbell, Mark Knopfler, J.D. Simo, and the list goes on and on and on. And these are really some great compilations. And one thing that I think a lot of people have been looking forward to is Tommy Emanuel's rendition of Purple Haze. Now, he has this video out on YouTube covering Purple Haze. He's just sitting back on his porch at his house and he just plays this killer rendition and if you haven't checked it out i highly recommend you do it and it's a fantastic cover of the hendrix classic and if you want to check out accomplice one it comes out january 19th tinsley ellis is releasing winning hand this month and tinsley ellis has been one of the most consistent performers in blues for over 30 years now and this is his return to alligator records now tinsley ellis had spent many years with alligator records he left, he released a couple albums on his own label, and now he's back with Alligator. And this album was recorded in Nashville, Tennessee. It was produced by Ellis and longtime collaborator Kevin McKendry, and it features 10 tracks, and this is a very guitar-driven album. So if you like Tinsley Ellis' other albums, you're probably going to like this. It comes out January 12th.